each sprinkler valve has a solenoid. This one's a Hunter uh, PGV, I, I believe. Um, and this silo looking thing, so it would be sitting like this, the water would be flowing this direction. And so then you have your solenoid sitting on top with the wires coming out of it. And that's what's gonna be connected to the other wires that run back to your sprinkler clock. So um, here is a closer look at the solenoid, right? And you have this little gasket to go around there to keep it there. And then this is the plunger part. So this is what goes up and down to let air in and out of the, uh, the valve. So as the electricity goes into this solenoid, it's charged, it will retract this plunger. So right now, you know, once it's charged, then it'll pull the plunger back, allowing air to get in there and allowing the valve diaphragm to flex and allowing the water to pass through the valve. When it's no longer energized, that plunger will be like it is right now. It'll be all the way down and that will, that will seal off the air from getting into the valve and, and will keep it from um, allowing the water to pass through the diaphragm. So that's kind of a, a real general uh, explanation of how the solenoid works, but uh, you'll want to make sure if it does get unscrewed that you screw it back in correctly and not cross thread it and then just have it nice and snug like that. So hope that helps. Hit the like button. Leave us a comment. Let us know if this helped you at all or what else would help you uh, know how to uh, do the things that you're looking to do. And we'll catch you in the next one.